Go to bed early. Get up early. Exercise. Fast daily. Talk positively to yourself. I'm amazing. I am powerful. I am love. I am here on this planet to create massive change. So how do you stop being a victim? How do you activate that inner living legend and step out of victimhood into full mastery and become the superhuman, the Jedi Knight that you came to planet Earth to be? In a world that is created and designed with systems and structures to keep you small, How do you rise above that out of victimhood? How do you take control of your life, your reality, and create the life of your dreams? How do you wake up every single day with joy as your natural default state? How do you walk around smiling and laughing amongst the chaos and the mayhem? How do you make money in a system that is designed to crush you? How do you keep your body healthy? and your mind strong, and your focus relentless in a world that is potentially poisonous. There's poison in our water, there's poison in our food, there's poison in the air. How do you stay healthy? How do you navigate this roller coaster of a human journey? Well, today I wanna share with you 10 points, 10 elements, 10 things that you can adopt, that you can take on board and take action And the thing is this beautiful soul, all it is is about making some simple choices. And once you've made those simple choices, you've just got to stick to. It requires devotion. It requires commitment. As long as you're devoted and you're committed, everything else falls into place. Number one, get up early. Get up at four or five o'clock in the morning when everyone else is asleep, when no one's gonna bother you and work on yourself. Set yourself up for the most incredible day. In the morning, you're not gonna get any phone calls. You keep your phone off, you keep your laptop off and you work on yourself. Whilst the birds are still tweeting and the energy levels in the Earth's grids are at maximum capacity, that is when you wanna create and manifest and get ahead of the game. When you get up early, you're 100 steps in front of everybody else. By the time it gets to nine o'clock in the morning, you've done a day's work. Then everything else is icing on the cake. You're just getting gains and gains and gains. Hey, beautiful soul, if you like the content on this channel, please subscribe. Remember to hit the like button, hit the bell so you're notified on up and coming videos, and please, Let me know in the comments section what takeaways you've got from this video and if there's any other particular subjects or topics that you'd like me to speak on, then let me know. We'll put them in the list and we'll make sure that we speak on them. I love you. Thank you for supporting this channel. And remember to share the video with your friends, with your family, with your loved ones. Number two, go to bed early. When you go to bed early and get up early, you're so much more productive. When you go to bed late at night, okay, you dismantle your internal system. When you go to bed early and you get good sleep, all of your markers get reset. Your nervous system isn't fried all the time and you can function better. When you go to bed early, around nine, 10 o'clock in the evening, you get the best hours of sleep because the best hours of sleep are between nine in the evening and one in the morning. Your melatonin levels are optimal. You go into deep sleep and you rejuvenate. So when you wake up early, you are refreshed. You're ready to go like a NASA space rocket, leaving for the moon, full of joy, full of high frequency energy. Nothing can bother you. Nothing can derail your train. You are focused on point and you know where you're headed. Number three, exercise. If you don't exercise, get off your ass and start walking every day. And when you get back from your walk, just jump up and down on the spot. Get your lymphatic system going. Once you get used to walking for 30, 40 minutes a day, do that for a couple of weeks and then start jogging for five and walking for 25 until eventually you're jogging for the full 30. 
then you can start doing some body weight exercises. Go to the gym and you'll expand from there. If you know what you're doing with exercise, make sure you're varying it. Push yourself, you know, time yourself, whatever it is that you're doing, whether you're lifting heavy weights, whether you're getting times on circuits, whether you're down doing a bit of CrossFit, sprints, hill runs, rowing, whatever you're doing, push yourself to the next level. Because when you keep pushing yourself to the next level, you build resilience, you build focus, you build determination, and you become unshakable. When you can beat the gym, you can beat life. But you don't beat life by beating life up. You beat life by being prepared for life. And the gym is the ultimate way to do that. Number four, fast daily. Everybody should be fasting for at least 12 hours. I fast for 18 hours a day and I eat for six. When you fast for 18 hours a day, you spike growth hormone levels, cellular regeneration, stem cell growth. Your energy levels go up. You got much more clarity of consciousness. And when you're into the, the flow of fasting, it also creates more discipline. It also creates more devotion. It also creates more focus, more determination, more resilience. Because when your body wants to eat and you're saying no, it helps you overcome. When you can overcome the gym, when you can overcome the, the cravings to eat, you can overcome life. It becomes easy. The challenges and the tests that you face on your path forwards on this earthly journey, you just start navigating them, sailing over them, through them, crushing them, squashing them, learning from them. Life becomes a breeze. You flow with ease and grace. Number six, breathe consciously. Breathe deeply into your belly. Or through your nose. Or maybe you want to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. It doesn't matter. When you breathe into your belly, you activate your calm receptors. When you breathe into your chest, you activate your fear receptors. So stay focused and breathe consciously. 10 minutes a day, do some trauma breathing. Or 10 minutes a day, do some fire breathing. Into your belly, in through your nose, down to your belly, out through your nose. Or in through your mouth, down through to your belly and out through your mouth. Start doing that in the morning. Do the trauma breathing before bedtime, it's beautiful. It sends you off to sleep, it sends you into a beautiful journey. Play some meditations in the background. Breathe consciously. When you breathe, you create space between you and your external environment. When you breathe deeply, you're not bouncing around in your head amongst all of those crazy thoughts all the time. So that 0.25 second window between stimulus and response, which is locked into everybody's consciousness, when they're bouncing and rattling around in their heads, it dissolves and disappears and you create that space. So you can start to respond to life instead of react to life. And that is a game changer. Number seven, talk positively to yourself. Breathe deeply and be self-aware and catch your thoughts and reframe them. I'm amazing. I am powerful. I am love. I am here on this planet to create massive change and assist my brothers and sisters with ascension. I'm powerful beyond measure. Nothing can stop me. The universe works in my favor. I'm brilliant. I'm kind. I'm amazing. I'm a god. I'm a goddess. I'm a lion. I'm a lioness. I roam this concrete jungle and I take control of my reality. I'm invincible. I'm unfuckwithable. I'm unshakable. Talk to yourself positively. I can. I will. I must. I am that I am. Powerful beyond measure. Communicate with yourself in the best possible way. Number eight, be consciously kind. Go out of your way to be kind to everyone and kind to yourself. When you're kind, you put out a beautiful frequency and that frequency ripples back into your world. Hug people, tell them that you love them. If they're doing things that aren't very nice, smile and walk away. If people don't reciprocate your kindness, that's okay. Don't blame them, don't judge them, not everybody's at your level. Smile, tell them you love them and just walk away. And then reciprocate that kindness out through the world, keep sharing it 
and passing it on and emanating it with every cell in your body. And I promise you, I guarantee you, the frequency in your body will just pull the most beautiful people and the most beautiful energies into your space. Number nine, cut your circle down. People have too many people in their circle that don't support and nurture their growth. You wanna hang around with people that love you, that support you, that nurture you, that lift you up and raise you up and support you and tell you good things, positive things, things that are gonna help you and inspire you. You also want strong people in your circle that are gonna tell you when you're getting it wrong, when you're fucking it up. You want people that are gonna say, hey, you're going down the wrong path. This is why. Just stop and breathe for a moment. Take a second and focus. Go into your heart. You're gonna realize this isn't the best course of action. You've been down this road before, Jerry. Why are you going down this road again? You know what, you're right, bro. You're right, sister. I love you, thank you so much. You want people in your life that are gonna support your goals and dreams. You don't want people that are gonna let you walk into a shitstorm without giving you some notice. But there are people like that out there. You don't want people that are gonna watch you drown in the ocean. You want people that are gonna dive in and pull you back out. You want people that stand toe to toe with you in every single battle. You want people that are gonna love you when you're down. You want people that are gonna support you in every situation, regardless of what that situation is. And you know in your heart that you're gonna do the same for them. You want a tight knit unit. There's no other way to roll on this planet. Not everyone can fly at your frequency. Not everyone deserves a seat at your table. So pick a small table and make sure the right people are sitting at it. And I guarantee you, you can take on the world. You can conquer, you can overcome any single battle. You can go into any business situation, any health situation, any relationship situation, and you can alchemize it. When you've got a good support network, you're formidable, unstoppable. Because I'll tell you something, you can't do it on your own. It's okay when you're rolling it at small levels. But when you get out into the world and you wanna build something powerful, something colossal and gigantic that's gonna change the way that this world operates. If you wanna build a business that's gonna leave a legacy, you need a real good team. And you need an inner circle that has got your back 24-7, 365. Number 10, the final point. Be grateful for every last tiny little thing. It doesn't matter what happens to you in life. You might get something good flow into your space. You might get something harsh come into your space. You might gain here and lose there. It doesn't matter. Be grateful for every tiny little thing because I guarantee you that everything that's coming into your environment is gonna help you grow the good, the bad, the ugly, everything is there. There is gold to be mined from every single situation. Every single situation, every single relationship breakup, every single business disaster, every single complication here or dismantling of something over here. I guarantee you, there are lessons to be learned and gold to be mined. But you gotta reframe everything and change your perspective and embrace everything that happens with an open heart, an open mind, and learn. Be a student of life. You don't know everything, and neither do I. And there's lots of people in our reality that can help us remember, and that remembering doesn't always come in a pleasant and easy flowing way. Sometimes those lessons are like a sledgehammer around the face. Sometimes those lessons are like a warm hug from an old friend. But however those lessons come, be grateful. Be grateful for every tiny, last, little thing. These 10 points will see you in the right direction. They're simple choices. Make them and take action on them. We live in a world where things don't just flow out from the ether into our space. We have to take action. I arrived in Egypt about an hour ago. 
We just got to our hotel. The first thing that I did was unpack and make this video. Why? Because I need to stay in the flow. I left my house at 7.30 this morning. I was up at 4.30. I was in the car on the way to the airport. I've been traveling all day. And I make a commitment to make, make one video every single day. It's about 2 a.m. right now. It's gone 2 a.m. Egypt time, okay? I'm not going to bed until I've fulfilled on what I committed to. It doesn't matter if you're tired. It doesn't matter if you feel broken. Commit to what you say you were gonna do. Now I know it's two o'clock in the morning and I'm telling you to go to bed early, but sometimes you have gotta make sacrifices. Sometimes you've gotta go over and beyond. But when you're in that routine, things flow with ease and grace. But every now and again, you've gotta step outside of those pathways that you laid down for yourself. And this is one of them for me. So I'm gonna give you point number 11, flexibility. If you're in this world and you're an unflexible human, I guarantee you, you're gonna create pain in your reality because not everything always goes to plan. Not everything always goes the way that you, you set out for it to be. And that's in business, it's when you go to the gym, it's in exercise, it's in sports, it's in health and fitness, it's everywhere, your relationships. Nothing always goes to plan. So you have to remain and keep a degree of flexibility. You're amazing, beautiful soul. You are, we all are. We're powerful, supersonic superhumans. So let's get to it. Let's take action. Let's not sit around waiting for someone to come and save us. Get out of victimhood. Get out of victim mentality. Know that you're powerful. Go into your heart. Meditate and discover the truth about who and what you truly are. A multi-dimensional being having a human experience. There is nothing that you're not capable of. You can achieve anything you put your mind to, but you've got to be committed and you've got to follow through. Because another thing, I guarantee you, when you start off on a path, things are going to come and derail your train. It's the nature of the game we play. It's the nature of the beast. It's the nature of this human reality. We live in a dualistic world. There's polarity. So the higher you rise, the heavier the burden. But those burdens aren't really burdens. They're often tricks. It's often other energies and other beings flowing through your reality to try and drag you down and create some kind of burden. But there is a weight. The higher you rise, the heavier the weight. But again, the weight's an illusion. And so is the height that you're rising. Because it's not an upward climb. It's an inward mission, deep into the labyrinth of your heart, where you get access to the entire universe. You're amazing, beautiful soul. Follow these pointers. I guarantee your life's gonna change. You'll grow new wings. You'll soar like a phoenix rising from the ashes. It doesn't matter where you are in your life. You might be at a rock bottom. You might have just got bust up in a relationship. You might have lost millions in a business. I've been there in both of those circumstances several times over. But I stay focused, I stay positive, and I learn and I grow. It's what we've all got to do, man. I love you, beautiful soul. All of our clients are going to be arriving over the next few days, so we're going to be starting off on the Giza Plateau on, on Monday. A 16-day tour. And then we're off out into the desert to do psilocybin for five days. So we got a whole good few weeks of this stuff. I'll be sending you some love, some high frequency energy from these sacred temples all over Egypt. So keep your heart open over the next few weeks. Feel the love. There's no time, space, distance, measurement in the quantum field. So you can tap into this love always. I'll see you again real soon. Remember to check out our website, starmagichealing.org. We've got some of the best ascension tools on the planet. Hundreds of guided meditations. Hundreds of light language transmissions. Hundreds of light codes. To access that divine template. Switch on your pineal gland, your Merkaba field, your Kundalini, your whole multidimensional architecture. We've got mystery school teachings for months and months, years. Go and check them out on all different subjects and topics to help you navigate ascension. We've got high frequency nutrition. We've got cosmic yoga. We've got telegram groups so you can connect with beautiful souls just like you. 
24 7 365. Souls who want to make this world a better place. Souls who know the importance of community and unification. Souls who want to love. Souls who want to treat you right. Souls who want to climb. Souls who want to overcome. Souls who are dedicated to making this world a better place. So the planet's resources can be shared equally between all women, men and children. That's the goal. I'll see you again real soon, beautiful soul. Strength in numbers. One love, one heart, one human family. Peace out. <laughs>